Hello and welcome to this video about the servicing of VRDS uh, units and uh, VRDS stands for very rigid disk system and here is one, there's a bridge and, and a big plate that actually drives the uh, CDs. Um, these are found in, uh, this is esoteric, but they're found in TX and, and Tuscams, which is professional, but also in any other um, player that uses uh, that drive, and in this, in this instance we have this uh, KSS uh, 151 ahead, but they come with 240s and others. Normally, just about there, there are two belts, there's just about there there's one that drives the tray, in, in most of them, and uh, on those on those units, uh, what you do is you grab um, some kind of a screwdriver and just uh, lever this thing up, and that lets you withdraw the tray completely from the player, and thus exposing the the drive unit. And here is one I prepared earlier. Uh, this is I think P700, and here is your uh, motor that drives the pulley that um, engages a piece on a, a tray. So, but that's that. That's that's the first uh, belt. That's that's easy. The hard one is. Uh, let me grab um, something white, so it's easy to see. Um, that there, that is that there is a belt that goes from the motor to the uh, gear arm. Um, and uh, this sort of engages um, uh, another, sort of looks like a rack, uh, that, um, that in turn drives the turntable and brings it up to meet with the, with the bridge. So both of these have to be taken out, and to, to take it out there is a C-clip on top of that. So use a strong magnet when you flick it off, so it doesn't go into a dark corner of your room and stays on that strong magnet. I use magnets from old hard drives and you just lift from, from those two spindles uh, those there. And the reason you do that is because that uh, worm is um, held at both ends and of course uh, you can't put a belt without removing it. What is the most important thing in all this is that um, this this limit switch here, this limit switch. I don't know whether it can be seen or not. Maybe I'll um, I'll try to zoom it a bit. Uh, and of course, it goes out of focus. Wouldn't you know? Ah, uh, God. Um, oh yeah, that's better. And uh, what happens here is that um, removing of, of that uh, of that drive is impossible without damaging this limit switch. So that, that the screw has to be undone. The screw is there, and you can then push that limit switch out of the way. You don't want to damage it because uh, you know it. Uh, very hard to get another one like it. And this limit switch tells the servo if the turntable is fully up or fully down. So once you have that um, switch out of the way, you can then remove it. And, and the whole thing is, is, is laborious just because of that limit switch. In this particular instance, there was, uh, those who have seen the first video now, that there's a sort of hole in the chassis there, and uh, this particular bit sits there, it's basically a globe that lights up, um, uh, it's a globe that lights up uh, inside of the player so you can see it spinning. Um, and of course, uh, when I tried to put the screwdriver there, well I couldn't because uh, this, this lamp was there at an angle I could not engage the screw properly. So I had to remove it and to remove that I had to remove the whole, whole front panel. So it's sort of became a big job, uh, which it normally isn't, or isn't that big. So that's about it, you know, once you put the new belt, um, you put that uh, uh, one drive there, and back um, uh, that lifter and the turntable. Before you do any of that, take pictures from every angle, so then 
after you want to put it back together and you don't know, does it go like this or does it go like that? You know? And the picture will tell you exactly how it goes and how it was originally. Uh, or even a video sort of going around uh, from all angles and, uh, and it, it's good to refer to. So that's about all folks uh, for now and um, when I convert it to 240 volts uh, maybe I'll make another video about this particular unit, you know, how it works because the owner told me that uh, there isn't any on the internet apparently. Well thank you very much and until the next one. Bye bye.